Did I mention, did I mention that everybody you're hearing tonight is a voice student of mine? <laughs> and you have no idea what it's like to sit in the house and listen to them. I wish I could take credit for most of these voices. Most of them came from some of the most phenomenally talented voice teachers in the country. And we just get to protect them here in New York City, thanks to the Singers Forum. And I want to introduce you to the people that made that program possible. Uh, it was originally created by an anonymous donor who I outed several years ago, and I want you to say hello to him. The man who created the Singers Forum Actors' Equity Association program, uh, Mr. John Kabrowski. Board is here tonight, and I'm very grateful to him because he is sort of our conduit. Without him, there would be no way for us to make all of the day-to-day -day management of the administration of this particular scholarship program possible, Mr. Tom Weston. Now, the great purpose of this evening, if you, if, you, if you know anything about me, you know that I put together these big, monstrous projects all the time. Um, a few years ago, I put together a show called Cast of Thousands, which is a one-man show in, in which I play 17 people and sing for like 90 minutes. It's really exhausting. Um, but the idea was to get it into a theater. We're taking it to the Wyoming Theater Festival this summer for its theatrical premieres. It will premiere as a theatrical piece. Um, about three years ago, we began... Okay. So um, the, three years ago, we created the Amanda McBroom Project, which was a series of concerts featuring many of our program students, plus a lot of celebrities. Um, the idea was to create a review out of the music and uh, lyrics of The Woman Who Wrote The Rose and so many other hit songs. That show, all the contracts are now signed. It's now called Some Say Love. Watch it. It will be coming very, very soon. And now Patrick Dwyer is the subject of our art admiration. Um, about two, three years ago, I had the honor of directing a show of his. It was actually a birthday celebration for him. It was called 30 Whatever. And uh, the idea was just very simple. He was reaching a milestone birthday, and he wanted to talk about the things that had happened to him in that decade. The songs were so amazing. He's a kind of a musical Woody Allen in many ways. And uh, I said to Patrick at the end of the run of the show, I said, this would make an incredible review review of, of people here in New York City, sort of like the old Upstairs at the Downstairs reviews, um, saying goodbye to 29 and saying hello to 40 and the years in between and the challenges that they face. So the concert you're going to hear from this point on is all material under consideration for 30 whatever, which will be a five-person review, which will play here at the Lori Beachman this fall and then hopefully move on to a theatrical venue beyond that. So you're about to hear now. It's all program sheets as, we, as you came in. I'm not going to talk again until the end of the show. So now, it's up to you to follow uh, all these songs as we figure out which ones are going to stay solos, which ones we've already turned into group numbers, what's going to happen to the songs as we watch, eventually, five people who love each other very much come together in the city of New York and face what it is to be 30 whatever.
I love, I love, I love, I always play around. 